Hello, our dear friends from America House Makerspace. My name is Anastasia Aksenova and I am tech assistant here at America House. And this week we are having two great holidays to celebrate. International Day of Women and Girls in Science and World Radio Day. And that is why we have prepared something interesting for you. Well, would you believe me if I told you that you can make your own radio at home? Probably not. But today I'm going to show you that it's absolutely not difficult and possible. So right away we'll begin to create AM radio, amplitude modulation radio, also known as box hall radio or crystal radio. So let's begin. Since we have a 3D printer at our makerspace, we have decided to print these parts. You can come to our makerspace and print them too or anything else you want and for you to have those ideas for 3D printing. We are going to share the website with a great number of models you can print. Simply search those you like. This is everything that you will need for this amazing project. Printed parts, a coil, a tuner and a base. Then you will need wire, sandpaper, small springs, a diode, paper clip as a conductive part, and a piece of foil. Well, let's begin. First of all, we will need some wire. Use a piece of tape to stick the wire in the beginning. We need to wind it perfectly tight and with no overlapping. Since the wire is coated, we need to expose it a bit with the help of sandpaper. Then I use such three springs which will help us hold a contact across components. Now I will connect this coil piece with the base. The next step. Let's place the wire into the spring on the right side and clip it. This diode makes current travel in one direction. Let's put it between these two springs. Now we need a conductive bar and for this purpose you can use a paper clip. And now let's cut a short piece of wire and place it between the paper clip and the left spring. We are almost done. Next step, take a piece of foil and make a thin strip. We need to place it on a paper clip so that it touches the sanded off area of the coil. By using our printed part, remember a tuner. We can move this piece of foil so that the current travels through. And that is how we can search for frequencies. This way we move the foil back and forth until we hear a station. One more thing, antenna. In fact, it's again a wire. The longer the better. It will make the sound louder. I'm cutting a piece of about 5-10 cm and connect it to the left spring. In my case, I use guitar amplifier to test it out. And don't forget about grounding. For it, we need to connect one end of the circuit to the metal pipes from the sink, which go directly into the ground. Unfortunately, there are no AM stations in Kiev since 1995, so we could hear only some hissing noises. But in the US, such stations still operate, more than 4000 stations. So we decided to send this radio as a present to our American friends to test it out.
As you can see, it wasn't that difficult as it might have seemed at the beginning. And we hope that you learned something or at least had fun. And let us know if there is any other device that you would like us to feature next. Well, thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.